Hello and welcome to the Batty.com channel. My name is Tristan. Today we're going to show you how to install an inverted polarizing film kit on this 90 through 96 Corvette instrument cluster. Let's get started. So as you can see, this is the normal factory appearance. It's a little bit faded and we're going to replace it with the inverted film polarizing kit. And now we're going to remove the six screws that hold in the plastic bezel. And now we're going to remove the plastic bezel. Set that aside. And now we're going to show you how to safely remove the LCD panel. Don't use any pry tool to remove this, only use your fingers. We're going to hold from the bottom and the top and gently rock back and forth on the top LCD connector. Until it's been removed. If you pull the top too far forward, you can break the LCDs in these two plastic tabs here. We're just gently lifting it up. First we're going to tape up the sensitive portion of the panel. And we are doing this to protect the invisible traces that need to not be cut. As you can see we've taped up all the top visible portion of the panel. And we're going to use a razor blade provided in the kit to remove the film and graphic away from the glass. And we're going to use some standard glass cleaner to lubricate this or to help remove the glue. And sometimes this will come off in a million pieces or sometimes this will come off as one uh, large assembly if we can pull on it gently. And sometimes the graphic can come off um, apart from the film. And the graphics come apart from the film, so we still have some film left. Let's remove that. And we're working with glass and razor blades, so we need to be careful not to cut ourselves.
Now that the film's been removed, we still have some glue residue, and we're going to remove that with a razor blade. I'm going to spray some glass cleaner to add some lubricant to help remove the glue residue. Once we've removed all the glue residue, we can see it has a shiny appearance. That's the glass. We want to be absolutely sure there's not any dust that might cause a bubble in the film application. This one's the top film, and this one is the back film. The top is the one where the pins point away from you, and the bottom one is the shorter one. And we set the LCD on something tall to protect the pins from getting bent. And I'm going to remove the protective film on top. And this is an optional step, but we found in the shop we can use an air duster to make sure there's no dust before we apply any film. And now we're going to peel the bottom protective glue layer. I'm going to line the film with the bottom of the panel. And roll it with a film roller. And now we're going to trim the film flush with the LCD panel. And we're going to hold the razor blade at a 45 degree angle to the panel.
And when we're done, the film is flush with the edge of the panel all the way around. And we're going to repeat the process on the reverse. This is the bottom panel. It's shorter than the LCD panel. We're going to align the bottom of the film with the bottom of the LCD panel edge. We're going to peel the protective side off first, just as the front. I'm going to redust this to keep the dust off. That's what it looks like once the film's been applied. Now we'll trim it flush around the edges. And now we're going to apply the factory graphic. And we're going to prep this with an alcohol pad provided in the kit. And it is absolutely necessary to do this to remove oils and fingerprints from the polarizing film. Otherwise, the graphic won't stick. And I've removed the tape I've placed along the top at this point.
I'm peeling this back from one corner at a 45 degree angle, flat from the panel to help the sticker stay down. Here we see the finished panel. We can reinstall it into our cluster now. And now we're gonna reinstall the LCD. We're gonna put the bottom corners in first and align the pins with the holes in the connector. And when we're going to reinstall, be mindful of this plastic square tab here. It can break the corner of the LCD if you're not careful. And the glass needs to be under this piece of plastic in the top right corner. It's now fully seated, and before we put it back together, let's plug it into our cluster tester and make sure everything works. And the inverted kit gives you a black when off LCD appearance. And the information is orange instead of black, and the image is nice and contrasty. And this is the real life appearance that the inverted film kit provides. Let's reinstall the bezel. I'm reinstalling the six screws that hold the bezel in place. And this is the final result of our inverted polarizing film repair kit. Thanks for watching. And after this, we'll get some McNuggets.